Hey everybody, we are back with another episode of Karen Corner that we are continuing from last month's session. Um, I'm Sarah Martin and this is Claire Farless with the AAAD. So we're continuing our conversation about coping with negative emotions. And I've got seven steps to help you with that. Um, so the first step is to acknowledge. Um, acknowledge your, your emotion when it happens. So that's your first step is acknowledgement. Our second step is going to be to recognize that you are only human. And when you feel that emotion, it's okay. You are a human. And on this roller coaster ride that we're on as caregiving, we never know what emotion is going to hit us from day to day, mm -hmm. from really second to second. Right. Third is just take responsibility for that emotion. If it's a negative emotion and you have, um, you know, cussed out to your caregiver, you cussed out your friends, whatever you have done that, uh, that has caused you a negative side effect, you need to take responsibility for that. Um, and that's really hard. A lot of times it's hard to say I'm sorry. That's, mm -hmm. that's a hard thing for us to do. But again, revert back to, to number two, you're only human and none of us have superpowers. The fourth is identify the source. So, you know, once we identify the source of our negative emotions, then we can take steps to keep that from happening in our life. So if I'm having issues driving because of the traffic, then I need to, to take steps to either find a new route to, to work or to leave earlier, whatever it might be, but I need to identify that source, um, the source of that emotion. Uh, talk to someone you trust. Uh, you know, Sarah is a wonderful sounding board for me here at work, and I hope that those of you are out there have a wonderful uh, s someone that you can talk to as well, because it's always good to have someone that you trust, that you know that's not going to go out and, and spread all your secrets, mm -hmm. that can sit there and help you rationally uh, talk through your emotions, and, and more importantly, that's not going to judge you. Because in caregiving, there will be times where you feel, you're like, I am so mad at this person, I don't even want to talk to him. Well, you know, I don't want to admit that to the professional that I'm, that I'm about to ask to come into the home to give us in-home services. So having that person that you can confide in and tell those things that you normally wouldn't tell just everyone out on the, on the street, um, that's, that's a huge, that would be one that I would definitely put a double star by. by. Um, and you want to watch out for those emotional hooks like we talked about in our last uh, video. Um, be aware of the emotional hooks and where they come from. So those can come from as simple as your coworker saying, you know, if there's anything that I can do, please let me know. Oh, great, you just gave me something else to do. No, I'll let you know later. You know, that, that's a negative emotional hook. So, you know, you've got to watch out for those. So maybe you avoid that coworker the next time. You know, uh, with the pandemic, it makes it a whole lot easier to avoid our coworkers, right, Sarah? Right. Um, but the example that I give, um, it's like going into a needle store with a balloon. You have to be careful because if I go down the aisle that's too tight, I'm most likely going to pop my balloon. Mm -hmm. And when I pop that balloon, it causes those negative emotions and then it just spirals from there. So to help yourself from spiraling, be conscientious of those hooks. Um, and also another really important um, point here is it's not just one and done. Once I've gone through my steps of acknowledging, recognizing, taking responsibility, identifying the source, um, talking to someone I trust, I, I am not done once I do that one time because unfortunately you get emotions every minute, every mm -hmm. second. I mean, this is not just a one and done, so keep that in mind. You know, um, caregiving is like a marathon. You've got you've to pace yourself because you're in it for the long haul. It's not a sprint. Uh, if we start out sprinting, we're going to tire ourselves out before the race is done. So those are my tips that I have for you to help with coping for, with um, some negative emotions. All right, so um, there are a lot of negative emotions out there. Um, on the screen, they, we have some listed. Um, you might have different ones that we didn't list. Um, but just a couple of those to mention, anger, depression, frustration, even guilt, those are all negative emotions. Mm -hmm. um, and so we are going to be uploading um, a PDF format of this worksheet to actually help you when you have those negative emotions to help 
cope and get through those. Um, so be sure to look for that on here as well. And just a side note, Sarah, that PDF um, is actually given to us by the Caring for You, Caring for Me series, and that's by the Rosalind Carter Institute. It's a, it's a great source for caregivers. Yes. So um, on here, there's going to be four questions um, to pay attention to. Um, you know, maybe you have an emotion in mind right now. Maybe you just got through dealing with um, something and you needed to turn to social media to get your mind off of it. So maybe one of those frustrations or emotions are on the forefront of your mind right now. Um, so ask yourself, um, under what, what circumstances made you feel that way? Um, what caused you to feel that emotion that you're feeling? Um, the second one, who else is usually involved? Um, most of the time when we have a negative emotion, someone else caused that. Um, there are times when we cause those ourselves, but a lot of the time it's usually because someone else was present and put that hook into us. So the third one, when was the last time that you felt that emotion? Um, what, you know, how recently are you feeling those emotions too? That's something to evaluate um, and to think about. And then the last one on there, um, what can you do to change the circumstance that continues to make you feel that way? So join us next time as we continue this conversation about, um, about coping skills for caregivers, how to build that resilience in these, uh, in these trying times as a caregiver. And we just want to thank you too for taking this time to watch this video, to watch our many videos. This is a learning experience for both Sarah and I, and we're just so happy to have you um, tuning in and uh, bringing us your topics each and every month. So if you have a topic too out there that you would like for us to cover, please uh, write it in the comments, send us an email, whatever you would like. We're here to help you. We're here to be your support. We're here to be your trusted person to help you get through this adventure of caregiving.